Word problems involving sets. Word problems involving set for week 2. So, learner solves problem solving sets with the use of Venn diagram. What is a Venn diagram? So, Venn diagrams, um, these are diagrams that make use of geometric shapes. These geometric shapes are square, circle, uh, rectangle, or many others. To show relationships, it's to show relationship between shapes. Did you know that Venn diagram is one of the best practices in solving problems involving sets? So, Venn diagram word problems generally give you two or three classifications and a bunch of numbers. You then have to use the given information to populate the diagram and figure out the remaining information. So to fully understand this, um, the usage of Venn diagram, let us do this first example. Example number one. Out of 40 students, 14 are taking English composition and 29 are taking chemistry. First question is, if 5 students are in both classes, 5 students are in both classes, how many students are in neither class? Neither. So, not in both. And letter B, how many are in either class? Either. Either of the class. So, the first step is draw a universal set. Universal set. Universal set. Your universal set is represented by you. Then draw a big um, square or rectangle. Then um, indicate that it is letter U, your universal set. Next, insert two overlapping circles. You have first circle, then next second circle. Indicate or label the total in each circle. So for the first circle, this is your English composition. And you have 14 students. For another circle, to chemistry. You have um, 29 students. The third step is... Five students are taking both English and Chemistry classes. So, put five at the middle of the overlapping circles. Next, accounted for five of the 14 English students, leaving nine students taking English. So, if five, uh, five out of 14 um, are taking both English and chemistry. How many are there in 14 only taking English? So only 9. Only 9 students are taking only for English. And 5 of 14 are taking English and chemistry. Next, accounted for 5 of the 29 chemistry students. So, out of 29, there are 5 students taking both English and Chemistry. And how many are those who are only taking for Chemistry? So, simply subtract 5 minus 29. 29 minus 5 will give you simply 24. 24 students are only taking for Chemistry. Out of 5 out of 29, taking chemistry. 5 out of 14, taking English. Uh, 5 out of 29, 
the state are take, is taking both English and Chemistry. And 5 out of 14, 5 out of 14 is taking English and Chemistry. So it means to say, um, there are 5 Limang students taking English and Chemistry. And 9 only taking for English and 24 only in taking Chemistry. Again, 5 of the students both taking English and Chemistry. Only 5 both taking. But only 9 is the only 9 taking for English and only 24 taking for Chemistry. Next. A total of 9 plus 5 plus 24 equals 38 students. 38 students are in either English or Chemistry. or both so there are 38 students are in either English or in chemistry or in both so from this we have already the answer for letter B where in the answer for the question for letter B or number 2 is how many are in either class so, how many are in either class? 38 students are in either English or Chemistry or both. So, how about for letter A? If 5 students are in both classes, how many students are in neither class? Are in neither class. So, This also leaves two students. So as you can, as you remember, there are 40 students. 40 students who are um, the total number of students. There are 40 students. But only 38 students are in the class. So how many are those not in the class? we have a total number of 40 students that's the total total number of students is 40 and only 38 students are in either class or in chemistry or both they are enrolled either in english or in chemistry or both so how many students are not in the class so simply 40 minus 38 students either in class either in class 40 minus 38 will give you 2 so there are 2 students who are neither Two students, two students, neither in class. So neither, they are not taking the class. So let's place bag two. Two is outside the circle. Outside the circles. It's because two students are neither, are not in English, not in chemistry or both neither so therefore outside the circle 